All right, this one is on VirtualBox. I think a lot of people know about it. Um, for the people that don't, VirtualBox is basically a way to um, test out a new operating system, or uh, you know, trying out like a, a new distro or something, and see if you like it. Um, it it's also used for like you know, developing stuff. Like if you want to compile shit, uh, you would want to do that on your test machine instead of your primary machine. Because if you mess up your primary machine, it's not fun to uh, you know fix it. Okay, so that's why they use a uh, virtual box uh, to mess around, tweak or whatever the hell it is they need to do, and uh, apply those skills later on their primary machine. Or if you know you're on Windows or or a Mac or, or whatever the hell it is. Because this program is cross-platform, uh, so that means you can use uh, any of the OS. So you know, if you, like, for instance, you're on Windows and you want to try Linux, uh, you could. Okay, you install that shit, and it it won't mess up your Windows partition. Okay, so that's great. You can try out Linux, uh, see if you like it. What's great about it? Was not, and say, oh, maybe I want to try that for real on my real system, right? So that's a good way to do that. But mainly on on uh, Linux, people use this to install Windows, uh, to use Windows apps in it. Okay, uh, this is like an alternative to Wine, because uh, I know a lot of people use Wine, but Wine is not always the the solution. <laughs> okay, uh, this one is a, another alternative to that, uh, but it's not really the best way. Okay, so I I, I actually tried this uh, before. Uh, I have uh, Windows. And I, I can run like you know Sony Vegas, uh, Photoshop, whatever, and it's okay. But uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say this is the best solution. Uh, when you first get this, and I'll post a link on the side if you want to get this. Uh, you have you should make like a, a new space for um, you know the the partition uh, for the OS or whatever. Uh, and just do the the you know the wizards basically they're the same crap. Uh, give it a name or something. I don't, I don't know. ABC. And you select the operating system. If you want to install Windows, you could. You see, they have uh, Linux, Solaris, BSD, and all that. Um, so you can do whatever the hell you want. If you want Linux, they have uh, some predetermined ones. You know. Uh, same thing with uh, Windows. They have XP up to. Uh, Windows 7 64 bit so that's great for uh, if you want to try Windows 7 on your Linux machine uh, that's great okay uh, so that's that you click on next and um, the, the memory um, what is this uh, size memory uh, this one is based on your RAM how much RAM you have on your system so let's say you have two gigs of RAM um, probably give it like 512 uh, you know like one fourth of it, or or like the 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 system requirements for the OS, whatever the hell it is, okay. But usually, um, five twelve or something, or like one gig is uh, enough. And here, let me see. What is this? a boot from the, the master? Okay, you can create a new hard disk then, or you can use the existing one if you have an existing one. But uh, let's say we create a new one, okay? Because that's normally what new people do. And uh, you probably want a uh, dynamic expanding storage because uh, a fixed size you cannot change it later. Dynamic you can change the storage uh, size later if you want to increase it. So that's what you want. Next, uh, the location, uh, whatever. Uh, and how much uh, size do you want? You want 10 gigs or or something? It's up to you. You can move the slider back and forth, right? Uh, so let's say that next. And that's it. You're finished. Okay. Finish here. And now you have uh, ABC or currency. And then you, you know when you just um, usually you right click on this or click on settings here. Okay. And you have some some stuff here. Uh, let me see in generals. Nothing that much. Here they they have uh, what kind of boot order? Not really that important. Um, mostly the defaults are really what you need but if you want to do like a 3d acceleration because this one is the new version they have like 3d acceleration uh, which is good if you have your, your card that supports it okay uh, yeah just leave this default 
Now here is where if you wanted to mount, okay, let's say you have an uh, ISO on your CD-ROM or something, then yeah, you would mount it with the CD-ROM. Or if you wanted an ISO, you know how you download the the, the Mint ISO or the Buntus or whatever, you can actually use that uh, instead of the CD-ROM, okay. Uh, so that's great, and this one has uh, audio support and everything, okay. So if you're using the other, um, you know, in your VM. Uh, they'll have sound, they have uh, internet, uh, USB also, and everything. So that is why this is a pimp ass program. Okay. Uh, I have my old XP in here. Let me see. So if I start it, now notice right here it says on the side here, at uh, the bottom here. See, this is the the host um, key. So that's the right controller. Uh, you know they have the, the left and right, so the right one would be the host key. Now that would be normally if you don't have the, the guest audition. So if you installing this program, I would recommend uh, installing um, what was that the, in devices here. Install the guest audition because otherwise it'll get annoying. You your your cursor will be stuck in here, and you can't get out until you press uh, this key, and that's not really cool. Okay. Uh, but with uh, the guest audition, you can you know go out here, back to your Linux, and back into the Windows, no problem, right? So that's great. Let me see what else they have. Uh, another one they have in here is um, if you want to do like a, a full mode or or a, a seamless mode. Uh, let me demonstrate this. A full mode is this, okay? Control uh, host F. So the host key is this, okay? This is the host key. Uh, the right controller and an F okay so if I press that right now you'll see that uh, let me see host F and you say switch okay we switch <clears throat> and it seems, it seems like you're using fucking uh, Windows XP here see it looks like it it's not you don't see any Linux crap or nothing okay so it, it seems like uh, <laughs> You're on Windows, but uh, it's just like uh, on top of Linux. And you see, I can use the uh, Internet Explorer, whatever the hell it is. <clears throat> Let me see. Go to go to Google. Dude, I don't want to see this. And see, I can use uh, you know, uh, Windows like this uh, in full screen mode. Uh, and the other one, now you get back, you use the same hotkey, uh, the host uh, F, I believe, right? And you go back to your VM, same thing, okay? Uh, the other one is uh, the seamless mode. Let me see what that is. Seamless mode, and that's uh, host L. Now, this one is, uh, you know, it blends in with the Linux, so. Uh, host L, and switch here. Now, you see, it has the Linux background here. They have Windows here, right? Uh, it's not as, as as pimp as the uh, the full uh, mode, but you can see that uh, it does work uh, to a certain degree. So let me go back. Let's see, there we go. Go back here. Um, so that's basically VM. You can you can do anything you would do. Uh, except for the, the the 3D acceleration, you know, uh, yes, it does have 3D, but I wouldn't say like uh, is uh, super great. Okay, uh, if you want to try games, uh, try the like low end 3D games. And if you're on Windows, you would try like a uh, Compass. Yeah, that would work. Okay, that's that's not really that intensive. But if you're doing like uh, FPS games, uh, fuck no. Okay, don't don't fucking do that. Waste your fucking time. Um, but basically, this is it. Um, I don't want to go into it anymore. Uh, they they probably have some other features here. I'll talk about next time. But that's it. VM, uh, go get it. If uh, you want to tinker, you want to compile or learn some shit that uh, yeah, you weren't uh, you wouldn't you know certainly uh, learn in your primary system or mess up with your primary system, then this is great for that. Uh, so that's it.